A U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, is calling on the Israeli government to carry out an investigation into the killing of the aid workers. Have a situation where people who are simply trying to help their fellow human beings are themselves at grave risk. Uh, we've spoken directly to the Israeli government about this particular incident. We've urged a swift, a thorough, an impartial investigation to understand exactly what happened. Now, Heidi Jo Castro joins us now from outside World Central Kitchen headquarters in Washington, D.C. What are you learning over there, Heidi? Cyril, the CEO of World Central Kitchen, has issued a statement calling this a targeted attack. And I'll read to you from her statement saying, this is not only an attack against World Central Kitchen, this is an attack on humanitarian organizations showing up in the most dire of situations where food is being used as a weapon of war. This is unforgivable. The words from the CEO of the World Central Kitchen, which is a relatively new aid organization in Gaza, but it really made headlines and by making some bold moves, most notably constructing that jetty off of the coast and being the first organization to successfully deliver food aid from that maritime corridor. Some 200 metric tons of food were distributed, were delivered rather, in March. And they were, it was in the midst of distributing this food that according to the World Central Kitchen that these seven workers were killed in that Israeli military strike. They had just left a warehouse where they were moving some of this uh, food. And we're also learning more about their identities. One of them was a dual U.S. Canadian citizen uh, several British citizens as well as an Australian citizen and, of course, a Palestinian as well. And they said that they were working in a de-conflicted zone and moving mm. in coordination with the Israeli military when, despite all that, this attack occurred. Heidi, I'm curious because we just heard from the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on this, and his answer is essentially, oops, yes, it was us, but we didn't intend to do this. It's tragic. We'll, we'll do our best not to do this again. Have the Israeli authorities been in touch directly with World Central Kitchen about this? You know, the World Central Kitchen says it's awaiting an investigation. It is unclear how closely they're in touch with the Israeli military about this investigation. But they were supposedly, they said that they were doing this in coordination, that every movement of this caravan had been done in coordination with the military, that they knew what was happening and obviously these vehicles that were hit were clearly marked as belonging to this organization and notably this is not by far the first humanitarian aid mm. workers that have been killed in gaza since this conflict began there have been actually close to 200 of them and now the world central health kitchen is saying that they are immediately suspending their operations after this occurred which means another ship that is just floating off the coast of Gaza carrying 400 metric tons of food aid now is sort of in limbo. It's unclear how that food or if that food will be delivered to the millions of people who are now on the brink of famine in Gaza. And this has had a chilling effect on other aid groups in the region. Um, Project HOPE, which operates medical clinics in Rafa, has also issued a statement saying it is suspending operations for at least the next three days. Yeah. Uh, well, absolutely. And that context is crucial, Heidi. Thank you so much for reminding us of that, that so many aid groups have either um, slowed down or completely stopped their aid operations because there have been so many attacks on aid deliveries. Uh, that's Heidi Jo Castro reporting from Washington, D.C.